Okay guys, here it is. Um, this is the first uh, tutorial on YouTube for this. Um, it's not that hard, but uh, just thought I'd show you guys because it's a little bit different. So, okay. This is the first time I made a video on my laptop, so you'll have to bear with me guys. So, basically, you want to get your COD uh, files ISO. So, they'll be like this. Um, and you'll want to extract those and you'll get these two files like this. One will be a G file. One will be a small file. Which is uh, the big file is the ISO and the little file is the hot VVD. To those of you who don't know what I'm talking about, this probably sounds like gibberish. So, uh, yeah. AG3X360 is the first thing you need to open up. And you're going to go to options. And you, they're normally automatically checked for you. But you just want to check these options just really fast. And these options under auto fix. You want to check those options. Then you come up here. File. Open. Find your Call of Duty ISO file right there open that into the AGX360 and then uh, I'm just doing this to save some time on the video but right after that you click launch and on the left side of your screen over here you'll see a black thing come up and well hold on I'll show you okay so this comes up and you just want to make sure all of this stuff is green when it gets finished see it's, it it'll take like five minutes uh, but you just want to make sure all that's green when you get finished. So simple enough so far. After that, you want to open up WX360. Then you want to go File, Open, um, and then you go to where your Call of Duty ISO file is. So that would be there. ISO file is there, right there. Okay. So that'll open up in a bunch of stuff. And, um, yeah. So you just want to go down, down the list until you find code post. Code post underscore GFX dot FF, not MP dot FF, just dot FF. And you're going to replace file with um, the dot FF that is in the <clears throat> betrays mod menu right here. Code post dot GFX. And that's what you want to open with. So that'll change and it'll say done. Then you'll come down, go to the common FF, replace file, replace file, common FF. Wait for that to get to where it says done. Then come down to not C zombie prototype down here towards the bottom Nazi zombie prototype uh, dot FF and you want to replace that with the Nazi zombie prototype dot FF now you'll see this Nazi <coughs> zombie prototype dot uh, slash dot um, extract data uh, uh, don't worry about that that doesn't really mean anything so you just want to put the Nazi zombie prototype right there wait for that to get done and then close that. So, next thing, you want to open up Image Burn. This has been pretty easy so far. <laughs> and um, you want to make sure you have a dual layer burner and dual layer disks. And you're either going to have to hot swap this or um, flash your Xbox or JTAG or whatever you use. So, I'll make a. Uh, hot swap tutorial 
since I already have my Xbox apart. And um, tomorrow I'm gonna sh make a video on how to use these mods. And anyone who subscribes to my channel, send me a message. I'll check to see if you subscribed. And if you did, I will start a lobby for you, get you 10th prestige, and you can play around with the mods for uh, like a half hour or an hour or something. So, uh, yeah. But, last thing you do is go right image to disk on Image Burn. Pick the, uh, the drive that you're using. So, I'm using the F drive. And you click on that right there to open. And this time, you want to go with the little tiny file, which is a .dvd. And right there, it'll say type. It might say uh, image file. If you're on Windows 7, it'll say image file. I don't know about Vista. XP, it doesn't say it. But since I don't have a disk in here, it's not coming up. But then you just click right there. And um, it'll burn. So then you just pop it out. And you're done. But um, thank you for watching and subscribe.